And meanwhile, with polls suggesting that Republicans may retake control of the House of Representatives in the November midterm elections, the United States appears set to continue its tough on China policy. White House Bureau Chief Patsy Widakuswara looks at how GOP-led Congress might exert more pressure on the Biden administration on various issues from trade relations with Beijing to support for Taiwan. President Xi Jinping did not mention the United States during the Chinese Communist Party's 20th National Congress this week. But his message was clear. Beijing will double down in the face of Western threats, including on Taiwan. We are not committed to abandoning the use of force, and we reserve the option of taking all necessary measures. The CCP Congress cemented a more assertive foreign policy under Xi, who will remain in power for a third term. This sets Beijing on a collision course with the Biden administration, which will be under pressure to be even tougher on China should Republicans win more congressional seats in the November midterm elections and Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy ends up as Speaker of the House. You know, for 50 years, the Chinese Communist Party has launched an assault on the American way of life on our economy, on our jobs, on our companies, on our culture, on, an, on our institutions, on our very future. The U.S. Congress is considering the Taiwan Policy Act, a bill aimed at boosting military capability of the self-governed island against a potential Chinese invasion. Beijing considers Taiwan a breakaway province. Various Republican lawmakers have also promised a tougher stance on everything from securing supply chains to investigating the origins of the coronavirus to make their point that President Joe Biden is soft on Beijing. But even if Democrats retain their slim majority in Congress, Biden's China policy will likely remain hawkish, keeping in place many policies of his predecessor, President Donald Trump, including steep tariffs on Chinese goods and containing Beijing's influence in the Indo-Pacific. Under the Trump administration, the Chinese genuinely hoped that the, the Democrats would win. But after uh, almost two years of the Biden administration, I think the Chinese have come to the realization that both are not going to change the consensus on China. And some in China would even argue that Biden's policy is even more difficult for China because how Biden uh, aligns its position and mobilizes allies and partners to jointly counter China's growing influence. Should Republicans retake Congress, observers say there will be more skepticism toward Biden's approach of competing strategically with China while cooperating on transnational challenges such as climate change. Patsy Widakuswara, Viewing News, Washington.